this seems like, you know, when we watch you guys kind of warm up and perform, um, it seems like you guys are actually having fun out there. Tell me a little bit about kind of the excitement and the, the fun that you guys have on a daily basis. Um, honestly, I think um, us having fun is kind of just a way that, um, I don't know if it's just like our generation or what it is, because like the like past generations, they like real serious. When we have fun, it's just, that's how we get locked in. And we just come out ready to play that way. It's just uh, kind of the culture we have going on. I'm curious about your relationship with TJ. How long have you guys known each other? And um, I met him last year at Woodstock. Yeah. Um, at first, I didn't really talk to him when we were there. It was just kind of me and my roommate. And then TJ started like tagging along with us. And since then, he's been my brother. Um, losing him, wh what did that mean for, for you guys as a, as a team? Um, as a he's a he was a big like spark for us. It, coming off the bench, he started to start towards the end before he got hurt, unfortunately. But um, just his um, effort offensively is just unreal. The kid can shoot the ball just unlike anything I've seen. Regardless of how close you are to him, he's putting it up and it's going in. So it's just uh, his energy was just you definitely felt that it was missing yeah, this whole season. That. Where did you learn your post moves? When did you develop those? Um, Have you always had I've, mm, My footwork's kind of always, like it's just kind of always been there. But um, as time goes on, um, since I've been at Woodstock, Coach Bergeron has definitely pushed me to establish myself in the post because before I got to Woodstock, I wasn't like necessarily dominant in the post. So uh, once I got to Woodstock, he made me establish myself in the post. And, since then, he keeps adding different things to my post game. To this day, it's just something new every time we work out in the gym. You faced Hassan French twice, Obi Toppin, who's a potential NBA lottery pick, Soriano, who was 6'11", 280 pounds. I mean, you faced some big defensive-minded players in the A-10, and you've had tons of success against them. Do, do you ever think, like, hey, are you ever surprised that you've had as much success as you've had so so quickly here? Um, sometimes, yeah, but at the same time, if you look at it, I play against the Jerry every single day. So it's like seven foot two, 245, pure muscle that I have to battle with. The Jerry is probably one of the strongest people I've ever played against. Do you think some of your post moves have rubbed off on him? I'm thinking of a play a couple games ago where he was <laughs> um, up I, and under. Yeah, I think for sure that um, whenever I got here and Coach Bergeron got here, a big thing that he did as soon as he got here was me and DeJir working out together with Coach Bergeron, working on different post moves, different footwork. Um, I think DeJir focused mainly on defense most of his career, but he's actually a pretty good offensive player. So he just needs to believe himself as much as the rest of us do. And he's finally starting to do that, and it's, you can see it on the court.